Welcome back everyone. So the next piece of the puzzle is we need to link up a date to our data here. So in order to do that, we're going to do another filter formula, but this time our array is going to be our dates, and we're going to do the same syntax as we had before. So we're going to look at our names versus the name that we're choosing, and we're going to times that by the department versus the department that we choose. And that's going to give us our nice little dates, and then let's convert that to date symbols, control shift 3, and that will get us our dates. Now in order, because obviously now we've got some dates here that don't fit exactly into what we want there. So in order to do that, and the other thing, the other trick of the puzzle is we're looking across multiple horizontal criteria. So what we're going to do is a classic index match here. So we're going to go index, and we're going to have a look at our table array there which is going to be denoted by a hashtag symbol there and we're going to use all this to truncate it in the end and then we're going to have a look at our rows so we're going to do an X match for our rows and what we're going to do for our rows is we're going to match our approximate date here so approximately where we want to look in the data we're going to look up our rows that we have filtered out before and we're going to match this against our next largest number first and I'll tell you why in a second and then we're going to do search last to first so we're going to pull the latest bit of data out of that now we're going to have to have a look in this array what exact bit of data we're going to pull out so we're going to look at by column and we're going to do another X match here and we're going to look up value 1 because what we're going to do here is it's going to convert all our all our data in the columns to zeros and ones based on what we're telling it. So we basically can tr create two matrices here. So we have a look at the top row and we want to equal our payment type. And then we're going to have a look at the bottom row and we're going to want that to equal our budget or actual. And now the only, the last bit of the trick of the puzzle here is we want to remove this comma and you want to times your two brackets together because you want to separate the two functions and that's going to convert two different tables of ones and zeros and can calculate and have a look where in the array your specific lookup is looking now we don't need any match mode in there so all we're going to do now is go enter and that says okay the latest one based on this data is 507 and we're looking at salary actual so if we have a look here it's already pulled out and we've got 507 so perfect now the tricky thing is if I go here and I chuck it to 2021 we've got an NA so how we're going to fix this today is we're going to go control C we're going to go if error we're going to use the exact same formula but this time where we had in the past we were looking at last to first or we're looking at the next largest we're going to look at the next smallest so exact match or next smaller item and then that's going to that's gonna have a look f throughout the data and still pull out the same, but it's looking if we go above our date. And then if we go below, so we're looking at 31 July, let's go 2019. And then that's going to pull our 588 match there. So we're going to pull the latest relative to our approximate date. Now, all we need to do for all of this is we just, we just truncate our formulas all the way back up here and really simple now where we've got referencing our filter here we just go and replace that in our little lookup formula here so where have we got F22 we go and replace that and there's a little bit off screen but I'll and that's gonna that's gonna look that up and then we're gonna have a super seat uh, simple and neat formula at the end of all of this And there you have it. We're looking up multiple vertical and multiple horizontal criteria with an approximate match in there, sorting first to last, and looking at where the where it's relative to the latest payment date. And we can do that now for any of our data. So say if we want to have a look at Jill here, we'll change it to red department and we'll have a look at Jill in here and it pulls out there. And if there isn't data available, I'll show you what's going to happen. It's going to go calc because we don't have any blue departments in here. But if I want to go and add a blue department for Jill, it's going to pull out her relative salary data. 
and you look at our table over here, we're looking at actual 632. How brilliant is that? Thanks for watching.